you've been writing about the fact that progressives in the House and Senate may be exploring the extent of their clout. And one of the test cases is the nomination of um, on yet another Wall Street banker to a senior economic position. The banker is uh, is Antonio Weiss of Lazard. And uh, a number of progressives are pushing back on this. What What exactly is going on, first of all? Sure. Well, well, first of all, I feel like this was a bit of an underreported story coming out of the election. Everywhere you looked, it was, you know, GOP landslide, GOP wave, Democrats demolished. But while that is true, progressives and progressive issues actually did a lot better. You had Al Franken and, and uh, Senator Jeff Merkley, uh, two progressive senators who were supposed to have tough races. That was sort of the conventional wisdom at the beginning of the election season. And they both came out ahead and did well. Uh, Congressman Gary Peters ran for Senate in Michigan against Terry Lynn Land. It was supposed to be another close race. And Gary Peters stood by his progressive positions, took on the Koch brothers, and also came out well. And the, the, the Democrats who didn't do well were the ones who ran away from President Obama. Uh, they tended to be more conservative. And to be fair, many of them were in tougher states for Democrats to win. But progressive issues did well on the ballot. And now this progressive group is a lot more stronger in the new Senate, even though the Democratic majority is going to be smaller. Elizabeth uh, Warren, as we know, is now going to be in leadership. Uh, and we'll have a seat at the table at formulating policy. So a lot of progressives feel pretty good. And now they're already, like you mentioned, having a test case with Antonio Weiss, uh, who is being nominated for Undersecretary of Domestic Finance uh, at the Treasury Department. And he's really troubling to a lot of progressives. So the question now is, can Elizabeth Warren and this new progressive block uh, block his nomination? Well, uh, first of all, I think you're absolutely right, Amanda Turkle of the Huffington Post. I think that the progressive element of the last election has been underreported, and by the way, not here, because we certainly talked about all of that here, including the success of the progressive uh, ballot issues, uh, uh, which did quite well. Uh, so it basically suggests that if, he, if, if you don't stand for something as a party, you're, you have less to stand on when you're in a difficult race. So yes, we agree with you. And now we have uh, renewed progressive energy in Washington, but of course, considerable pushback as well, for example, on the Antonio Weiss uh, nomination. Uh, and, and that's, as you know, that is not an unimportant position. Domestic finance may sound like, you know, your shopping budget, but the, the domestic finance in the Treasury Department means basically all the things that affect us as consumers, as parts of the American economy. It's an enormously important position. So, uh, and one where Antonio Weiss has very, has basically no expertise because he's an international finance guy. So uh, there's considerable pushback uh, and there's pushback on the pushback now. So uh, what's the latest state of play there? Well, most people on the Hill don't expect Weiss to get through in this Congress. There's only a few more weeks. So the question will be in the new Congress, because if a nominee doesn't get through at the end of one Congress, in the new Congress, they have to be renominated. So the question in the new Congress is, will there be enough pressure on the Obama administration not to renominate Antonio Weiss? Or will the Obama administration want to take on Elizabeth Warren and take on the Progressive Caucus and say, we're renominating him and we are going to